Hello friends! I hope you're looking forward to Holy Week as much as I am. This year will be a unique opportunity to explore Holy Week in a way we've maybe never had the opportunity to do so before. We might be disappointed that we can't gather in our sanctuaries and, 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 and share palms and all the things that we do every year, but maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's a chance to ask ourselves, what was Jesus really experiencing? What were the disciples experiencing as they gathered at the home of uh, Lazarus with Mary and Martha and, and watched Mary anoint Jesus uh, with perfume? Watch Judas get angry because of that. How many times do we pass over parts of the story. This is a unique week that we can take the time to carefully examine the Holy Week story, the Passion story, the story of Jesus between his entry into Jerusalem that we'll celebrate tomorrow morning through each day Jesus teaching his disciples, preparing them for his death and resurrection. Little did they know or understand what laid ahead of them. But as we know, Looking back through the cross, Jesus would transform their lives and prepare them in that time to do ministry. And I want you to think about the fact that we're here today. We're in wherever we are, calling ourselves believers in Jesus, Christians, because that faith has been passed on even to us today. So I hope and look forward to being with you during this Holy Week as we explore how Jesus transformed his disciples in preparation and how Jesus is still transforming us even as we go through this time together. I hope you'll join me each day as we travel through Passion Week and explore Jesus' final week of his life, his death, his resurrection, and the celebration of new life offered to each of us. Be blessed, my friends.